Yo what's up guys, John Boogle here, and today we're gonna discuss the 6th year anniversary on Global, and today I'm gonna tell you, all of you Global players that haven't been saving stones already, now is the time to immediately stop spending all your stones and start saving now if you haven't started already, because this is a gacha game. To beat a gacha game or to outsmart the gacha game, you gotta be ahead of time, and it is a very huge plus for Global since we are behind JP. We could plan ahead of time and take massive advantage of that. So, six months prior to the six year anniversary on Global, we have that huge six month time frame to decide to start saving or not. And if you've been saving since the JP six year anniversary six months ago or five, four months ago by now, you're gonna have like 2k stone saved up for the anniversary. Now keep this in mind, this is a business, so of course Global Dokkan knows that everyone is just gonna save for the 6 year anniversary, so what are they gonna do? They're gonna drop some banners, some bait banners, some trap banners I like to call them, and they're gonna try to get some players to spend their stones right before the anniversary. And one of the big trap banners that happened was of course the release of Dokkan Fest Broly. And if you were the large portion of players that decided to summon on this banner, you fell for the trap. I mean, if you really wanted Broly, you could summon on this banner. If you really wanted the Blue Boys, you could summon on this banner and you probably have summoned on this banner. But what that does is sets you back. Sets you back big time because all the multis you did on that banner could have been saved for the 6 year banners and investing all of your stones into the 6 year anniversary banners is the best possible thing to do every year cycle in Dokkan. So there is some slack if you want to summon on these Dokkan festival banners. Like one or two multis, maybe you want to test out your luck, try to get Broly or try to get Pycon or try to get Gogeta Blue, Vegito Blue, whatever. But this is only a solid option if you have a stash of stones already. If you have under 300 stones and you're summoning on all of these banners before the 6 year anniversary, you have to immediately stop because you're not going to walk away satisfied out of the anniversary at all with just 300 stones. And stuff like Broly, he's going to be back in a couple months and he's going to be spammed in banners soon so he's going to be very easy to obtain. But stuff like LR MUI Goku, LR Evolution Blue Vegeta, they are pretty rare and they will show up once or twice a year. So that is what you want to save your stones for. Now, now, my fellow legendary summon banner summoners, I'll just be blunt here. If you've been spending stones on legendary summon banners before the 6 year anniversary, you deserve to get slapped. What are you doing? No, but seriously. These are the worst, worst, absolute worst possible banners you can summon on, let alone summoning on them right before the 6 year anniversary. And this is the best way to look at it. Every stone that you spend before the 6 year anniversary is a lost chance to spend stones on the 6 year anniversary and have a chance at pulling both of the main banner units or the other for featured LRs on each banner, which is insane. Trust me, I've been through this before. Right before the 4th year anniversary, I decided to make a dumb move and summon on some banners previous to the 4th year anniversary. The 4th year anniversary arrives. Yes, the anniversaries do give a lot of stones, but sometimes that's not enough. And I left the 4th year anniversary without SSJ4 Goku, and the amount of regret I had of not saving my stones before the 4th year anniversary and thinking if I could have just done one more multi on the SSJ4 Goku banner and maybe that multi could have had SSJ4 Goku, that regret started to pile up quick. So you must be wondering, if I skip all of the legendary summon banners, how am I going to get all of my LRs? Well, here's the thing. 6 year anniversary has tickets, there's free ticket multis and LRs are in that banner. Not to mention the free 66 unit ticket multi which is a guaranteed LR and there is a stone version of the 66 unit multi as well which is also a guaranteed LR multi. 
That is what you should save your stones for instead of spending them on the shitty legendary summon banners. Now with all this said, if you haven't been saving your stones and I somehow convince you and you want to start saving now, well I plead because you still have enough time to start saving now and have a decent stack ready for the 6 year anniversary. So let's just do a rough calculation here. If you start saving right now, stop spending on any banners and just start saving all of your stones. If you just start saving right now all the way up until the 6 year anniversary until you see the banners in front of your screen, how many stones can you get? Well currently as I'm recording this video it is April 22nd. So this is just a rough calculation so keep that in mind. Do you have exactly 106 days to save stones right before the banners come out? So how many stones will that get you? So of course daily login bonus that's already 106 stones. And at minimum, the daily missions will give you an extra two every day, so that'll put you up to a nice total of 318 stones. Already, this is a huge bonus, because that is one rotation on each of the six year banners. So already, that's a huge plus. But, there's more. Not to mention the store events that will release, the EZAs that will release before the six year anniversary, and the countdown to the six year anniversary, there is a lot of stones still to be saved. And we also have a world tournament coming up on global, so that is around like 40 more stones. So let's take a quick look at the celebrations that happened before the 6 year anniversary and calculate a rough calculation of how many stones you can get. So the major celebration that happens in the next month or May is of course Goku Gohan and Goten's A. And with that, the login bonus, you'll get around another 40 stones. And that number might be a bit higher with the missions, the daily missions and such, but it varies. It might be two more extra stones or three. We will see. But we already have previously counted at minimum two stones for daily missions every day. Now there's a chance there's going to be a new Easy A or Easy A area. We have no idea because this could be a global first, but we're going to be generous here since we aren't sure if there is going to be a new EZA or a new EZA area stage or a new story event. We're just going to say you get no stones after that month period. Then we move into June and into June there's going to be one more campaign right before the countdown. And that is of course the energetic campaign or the maximum power campaign, whatever you want to call it. Basically, it's the filler campaign right before the countdown to the anniversary. And this is most likely going to be the campaign where we can see Goten and Trunks drop, or maybe they can make a wild move and decide to drop Videl, or we could see a legendary summon banner drop here, or no banner at all, but who knows. Either way, it is going to be one of those two. But the main thing is the missions and the new events that come along with the celebration because you're not going to be summoning on the banner anyways. You should avoid it at all costs. So for this, we can look at last year and during last year there was special missions of course for the celebration that happened and you could get a total of 29 to 30 stones and that's pretty much all this campaign brought. It was a very filler campaign. It happens all the time right before the anniversary. Just a small filler campaign to just get everyone ready for the countdown. Now, once the countdown begins, that is when we can start really seeing the scope for the 6 year anniversary. Now on JP for the countdown login bonus you would get a total of 35 tickets and a total of 10 extra dragon stones. Now in the countdown celebration there was also a comeback campaign so basically they count the total amount of players that come back to the game after a long period and once they reach that amount you get certain rewards as you can see through all the steps. If we complete all the steps, that is an extra 8 more stones. And if you are in fact one of those returning players, then you get an extra 20 stones at this period, but that won't matter in this calculation. Now we are in striking distance with the 6 year anniversary banners, and the day the 6 year anniversary starts, automatically you get 30 dragon stones right there and then. And if there's a live stream on global, we might get an extra 66 stones with that. And of course, with all the events that come out on the first day of the anniversary, like Boss Rush, that's another 35 stones. And that pretty much is the rough 
rough bare bones calculation of how many stones you can get. If you start saving right now, all the way up until the first day of the six year anniversary. And if you've been saving before this point, you're gonna have a lot more stones and that is a huge bonus because 500 stones is a lot, but keep in mind, this is a dual Dokkan Fest banner. So there's two separate banners you're gonna summon on and you're gonna have to split that 500 stones and that is gonna be your decision how you split that. But if you've been saving since previously, you won't have to worry about choosing one banner to summon on and hoping to just pull the other units on the other banner. You can just summon on both banners and walk out with both of the main units. Now of course throughout the anniversary you can get a lot more stones but I'm not going to cover that in this video. This video is just how much you can get if you start saving right now and that is the calculation. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, drop a like. If I managed to change your mind to stop summoning, let me know, let a friend know, show them this video, tell them to stop summoning and save their stones for the anniversary. I promise you, it is the best investment to do every single year on Dokkan. Gotcha smart, it's me John Boogle, and see ya!